In the world of comics, great artists with flimsy ideas are a dime a dozen, but it takes a special mind to imagine an entire vibrant world on paper and physically make it come alive. That is what Pueblo native and emerging comic artist Brandon Hovet has done with Warp Studios, a multimedia home for his grisly creations. He took up space at his hometown Denver Comic Con last weekend to meet fans and create new ones by displaying his art. I, I want to create, when, when I started putting Warp Studios together and all these characters, I, that was really one of the first goals is I wanted to put together a creative property that would work good in all different media um, on all different levels. So I, I actually see it being a graphic novel. I also see it being a, a movie or even possibly like a short mini series on, you know, let's just say like the sci-fi channel, uh, maybe a smaller network. And Warp Studios could be a place where people can also physically buy the, the characters that they see on TV, uh, the characters that they would read about in the DK uh, graphic novel or comic book miniseries. I want to hit all those markets. It's, the characters are something that you, you could actually touch and feel and see in their three-dimensional form and characters that you could also read about so that they're not just a you know, just a prop that's just sitting there doing nothing so you can get a little bit of their personality. Hovet's graphic novel, which is a horrific manifestation of what he describes as his worst fears, comes alive in Decay. So far, it's entitled Decay, and I think it just popped in my head and it seemed like very fitting for, uh, for the criteria of work that uh, I've created. Um, it just encompasses around one character. He's in the military, retired, and uh, his daughter turns up missing. He ends up getting involved with the guy that kidnapped her, and the guy that, is, that kidnapped her is uh, the uh, biochemist and scientist that created these arachnids. And it's, it goes a little bit deeper than that, but that's the main focus. And right now, hopefully, if I get it to fit right, um, I'm trying to keep it just either a graphic novel or a miniseries, maybe four issues, but we'll, we'll have to see. Hovet came of age in the 1980s in Pueblo County, living near County High School, where he was a graduate in 1989. A horror and comic aficionado from a young age, his comic education began quaintly enough. I used to go uh, just a couple lanes up, because uh, I grew up on 37th Lane uh, out in Pueblo County, and uh, there was a loafing jug uh, right by County High School. Uh, I think it's on 35th Lane. And I used to scrap up scratch up any any amount of money I could uh, to go up to the loafing jug to the comic book rack and, and buy Savage Sword of Conan. That was my, that at, at that time that was my drug. It was just a good time to be really, uh, really inventive and uh, ju just tinkering around with stuff, you know, just messing around with uh, you know, scrap metal. Uh, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I was a big uh, Conan fan. So I used to take scrap metal and try to make my own swords and <laughs> walk around and see if I could kill some imaginary monsters. Today, his art brings him around the country as he moves one step closer to his dream. And having space at a Comic-Con of Denver's caliber is a huge step for him and Warp Studios. It's a great convention. It's only been here. This is its third, third year. And uh, it's just gotten huge, and it's doubled every year, it seems like. Uh, and it has the same look and feel as uh, the San Diego Comic-Con. It's laid out the same. The aisle space is big. The people are great. Um, so I, myself, plan on exhibiting here in the years to come. Good. <laughs> these are amazing. Yeah, you are very talented. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate that. There's a lot of talented people here. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Uh, it's mainly geared for the haunt attraction industry, but yeah, you, once in a while you do get uh, a low budget film that's being made and they need something for the background. Um, but it's it's mainly geared towards the haunt attraction industry. Personally, I like the monster clay. Yeah. I think it's great. It's To me, it's the best oil-based clay on the market. It seems a lot easier than some of the others. Yeah, it is. 
just seeing how it works as a, as a graphic novel and a movie. Yeah, that, that really is the ultimate goal, to put everything together in this nice, neat little package um, and create, have a creative property.